Welcome to Vindal's concept. Today we are going to be looking at cathode ray oscilloscope. We look at their calculations and how to carry out measurement. And before coming here, I'm sure you have seen the structure of a cathode ray oscilloscope. So what we are going to do now is look at the few things they can measure, look at um, how to carry out reading, and look at how to do some calculations, and also solve few calculations from few universities that we've gathered. Okay, from the name cathode ray, I am sure you know what is a cathode ray. The ray coming from the cathode arm of um, of, of an AC circuit, or the the, the 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 ray that comes out of a cathode, because in a in a in a cathode ray oscilloscope you have a cathode, you have an anode. Then when a high potential is supplied in a very very low pressure, then a ray is emitted from the cathode. So from there we now have cathode ray and then from the name oscillos oscillo that means oscillation that is the sinusoidal form of a wave scope you know how to do the measurement scope has to do with the measurement so we are looking at the measurement of the the, the measurement of the, the 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 oscillation of a ray simply called cathode ray thank you and I also want you to know that cathode ray oscilloscope is also uh, an electrical instrument which can be used to show the measurement and analysis of a wave, of a waveform. It measures uh, voltage time signal. That means voltage is on the vertical. On this vertical, we measure voltage here. On the, this measurement, this one, all this is talking about the, the voltage Why this horizontal talks about time. But then, looking at this, um, what you are seeing on the diagram here, you will wonder what you are saying. But see, the issue is that cathode ray oscilloscope can also measure a DC um, voltage in the sense that before we start the use of cathode ray, which I'm going to explain further, we do some setting. But when we go further, we'll talk about that. Then in this case, if you see that this graph is not, is not an oscillation in the sense that it didn't go like this, it didn't go like that. Rather, it is a straight line on this path. That simply means that this cathode ray, which shows this kind of form on the screen, is used for measuring a DC direct current. And that is why these are all straight lines. Now, in this case, look at the short thing I wrote. I said DC measurement, since we have straight lines on the graph, if it is an AC, we will have this kind of form and because it is a DC measurement you are not going to talk about the frequency and you are not going to talk about the period all right and um, moving forward we also know that like i told you before we talk about the controls these are few controls that we do before we start carrying out the measurement of a cathode ray if you look at this we now have some controls, like I said, you may you now take voltage per division. You can set it to five, you can set it to two, you can set it to anything. You're also going to have a time per division, you can set it to one milliseconds. When we talk about one milli, milli means 10 raised to power minus three, simply puts one over 1000. That is milli. So if you multiply this by 10, you have an answer which is 0 0.001 second and that is why we have this here that is why we have this here all right moving forward also i also want you to know that the the the, the i said if voltage division is set at 5 then the graph has 20 volts at the fourth division that is 20 uh, vote in DC. What I'm saying is, going back to this, if this, the, the oscilloscope before using, is the voltage per division is set at 5, it means that since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 4 straight divisions. And then, what we mean by per division is there may be small other smaller divisions that make up the higher division. For example, this be zero, 
one two three four then five that means if this smallest division if a very for example if you have this this is a major division these are two major divisions then you have other smaller divisions that make them up then from this one to this one you can have a division set for it in this my own calculation i set it at five since i have five division that means for any smallest division you can ever get here it is five that we give it that is given then in a bigger division we have one two three four so it's going to be this four multiplied by the by this vote per division you are going to get a voltage which is measured on this vertical axis and and here we have our own as 20. now let's move forward straightly to the one you like to hear which is the ac measurement in an ac measurement of an oscilloscope in an ac measurement of an oscilloscope we are having this kind of graph this is the graph we have for an ac measurement and if you are looking at this graph you are going to have a starter this is starting here and it ends here remember that this is given at this point now we have zero and this is the final part let me call this place vote why this part is measuring time let's call it in seconds now this is the the crest the top the maximum why this part is the trough which is the minimum if you count from the minimum to the maximum you have to get the number of divisions and according to some question that is what they call some people call it vertical display some calculation we call it vertical display on the screen that means let's count from this place which is 10 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, no no we have sorry let's we can start from here anyways i made it here already this is zero this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we can have a vertical display display of 10 this 10 vertical display is going to be used to find what is called peak to peak voltage it's going to be used to find what is called peak to peak voltage peak to peak is from one peak to another peak that is called peak to peak voltage and this is for the vertical this is for the vertical for the vertical sometimes we also have horizontal horizontal um horizontal is when we are talking about the period the period remember what is period is the time taken to complete an oscillation the time taken to move from here all the way to the end so in this horizontal display we are also going to count the divisions that make up the full horizontal display so we start from a i call this one a we have one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can have eleven display on the horizontal axis, and we we'll call it horizontal display. And that is what is used to carry out the calculation. And what else? We also expected to know the peak. Sometimes some people call it the amplitude. I'm not here to explain a way a, 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 a signal. I mean, um, simple harmonic motion. I'm just here going straight to it and also maximizing time. So we talk about the peak voltage, which is measured from here to the highest. That is the amplitude, the amplitude, the maximum display from the uh, from the equilibrium point. Okay. Now, considering what I've explained, the vertical, horizontal, and the and the and the peak voltage we are going to use it to do some calculation let's assume that i have this i want to measure an ac and this is what we have from a, an oscilloscope if i want to carry out a measurement remember i would just decide to do some some settings i told you 
we do some settings. I may decide to do this. Good. If I decide to do this setting, whereby I have, I have set my controls. We we'll call this controls. That means what guides your experiment. Um, what guides your experiment? Okay, I have my voltage per division. That means voltage per division as two volts. I have my time per division as two millisecond, or sometimes we we'll call it. 2 ms that's milliseconds and i have my coupling my coupling now i'm measuring is no longer dc so i'm going to put ac and then we we move on and there uh, before i move on to the calculation i have to let you know um few things about this oscilloscope when it is compared to the voltmeter i remember voltmeter measured the uh, voltmeter can measure the potential difference i mean the voltage on a, on, a, on a circuit and also measure resistor. Most times people use multi voltmeter. But one special thing about this cathode ray is that it measures high frequency. That the frequency you are going to get like 400 kilohertz or 2000 kilohertz. I mean 4000 kilohertz or 2000 kilohertz. This oscilloscope can measure it. And also, it's only used to measure peak to peak. Remember what I told you about peak to peak from the from the crest to the trough is what this can measure. Okay, let's go ahead. Remember what we have set as our time voltage, as our voltage per division and time for division and coupling. We are going to carry out this kind of calculation. And also we'll be able to find other things there that can help us achieve in this our studies okay we said that um i explained again peak to peak voltage is um that is from trough to crest and the, the number of major divisions is called peak to peak voltage and uh, is given as v sub double p and now remember what we had before when i measured my peak to peak voltage i said that we had them as 10 10 divisions because from from this part we have zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that is my peak to peak voltage if i have that as my peak to peak voltage what you are going to have is that i am going to, to measure my peak to peak voltage the, sorry that 10 is not a peak to peak voltage that 10 simply means the vertical display and uh, most times it's measured with a ruler or whatever you can use to measure, you know. You can measure in CM or whatever. And then we, we can now carry out the peak-to-peak -peak voltage. Let me repeat what I said. I said that that vertical, that peak-to-peak, -peak, you measure it with ruler to know the division. It's just a scale. You know the division you have made from the, from the trough to the, to, the, to the crest. And then to measure the peak to peak voltage, you have to multiply that 10 by the, 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 the voltage per division that you have made. And our voltage per division in our control set, I made it as 2. And then the peak to peak voltage is going to be 10 times 2, which is 20 um, peak to peak voltage. And to measure our period, remember what I told you about period. Period is the horizontal, the, sorry, period is the length from the beginning of a waveform to the end in the horizontal direction. In the sense that a period is the time taken to complete a circle or is the time taken to complete an oscillation. An oscillation goes from the beginning to the end on the horizontal ones. So if you also carry out your own vertical horizontal display you see that we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven is our is our horizontal display and for us to be able to carry out um, a the period we have to say eleven um from a to b and whatever we're saying here Therefore, period is from A to B. Yes, it has been noted. And then I have to correct this, please. It's 11. And um, our time per division, 
our time per division is given as is 2 2 millisecond so we are going to use the 2 to multiply the 11 11 multiplied by 2 we are going to have 22 that was a little mistake 22 um second you know millisecond sorry because i didn't use the other um i didn't convert it to a full seconds milliseconds okay that is how to carry out this oscilloscope now going back to the main question we want to talk about here okay looking at the okay okay is all right is all right okay let's go straight to the calculation for the question we have now we have a question and we are going to carry out okay um the from the question which i told you was said that physics 492 of a, a physics laboratory trick credit load question we are going to they say we should find um the we say we should find the root mean value of the voltage before you find the root mean value of the voltage you have to consider the the, the vertical waveform or the vertical display which is given as you have to look at the sorry for that you have to find the height of the waveform or the vertical display which is given as 7.2 and then you have to calculate the peak to peak voltage to do that you say the vertical display which is 7.2 multiplied by the by the division voltage per division and voltage per division here was given as 10 v per div which is this and this is going to be um peak to peak voltage is this 70. And they remember that peak to peak voltage is from the crest to the trough. And for you to get the peak voltage, that means you need to divide it by two. And when this peak to peak voltage is divided by two, you have 35. 35 becomes the peak voltage. And after getting that, then you now have this um, formula. This formula which says that the rule means um, square of voltage, which is the major thing we are looking at is going to be the peak voltage over 2 root 2 and after a proper uh, arithmetic you now have 12.3 volts now the next question we they ask us to find is the frequency of the waveform the frequency of the waveform oh i thought i wrote it down all right the frequency of the waveform the frequency of the waveform you have frequency is given as 1 over period and um, from this question, remember we have to find the 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 period. Remember what I told you: the period is period is given as the the horizontal display. Multiply by time per division. And from this question, our horizontal display is giving us 5 centimeter multiplied by time per, divi per division is given as 0 0.1 milliseconds. Okay, if you do a proper calculation there, you have um, 5 times 0 0.1 is giving us... Um, this period is going to be 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3. This 10 raised to power 3, I'm bringing this milli, 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 you know. So I'm going to have 5 times 10 raised to power minus 1 times 10 raised to power minus 3, which is 5 times 10 raised to power minus 4 seconds as the period. So if that is given as the period, then 
I have to then go back to this equation and do my substitution, I have that my frequency is given as 1 over t, which is given as 1 over 5 times 10 raised to the power minus 4, which is uh, 1 divided by 5 is given as uh, 0. Uh, this, uh, is given as 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4, which is uh, 2 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 hertz is my frequency. Thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Very important. Thank you. And meet you in the number four question.